You know what's wild? A company that's banned, blacklisted, cut off from key global suppliers is now preparing to build a 3 nanometer chipset by next year. Yeah, Huawei. Let that sink in for a second. While the world doubted them and sanctions tried to slow them down, Huawei kept moving, quietly, strategically, and now shockingly. A new report says Huawei is working closely with SMAC to roll out a 3 nanometer chip in 2026. And not just any chip, but one built on GAA surround gate technology and 2D materials, something only Samsung has touched so far in commercial space. And you're telling me this is coming from a company that's literally cut off from the rest of the tech world? If this is what Huawei can do under pressure, imagine what they'd be doing without the ban. Scary thought, right? Now, let's break this down. Huawei's already got its 5 nanometer Kirin X90 processor lined up for its Harmony OS PCs, and now they're reportedly working on a 3 nanometer chip design. This isn't just ambition, this is proof that they're aiming to catch up and maybe even leap ahead. They're using gate all around technology, basically surrounding the chip channel on all four sides, which gives better transistor control, higher performance, lower power consumption, and smaller chip size. And while Samsung is the only big player using GAA right now, Huawei is trying to take it one step further by switching from silicon to carbon nanotubes. That's insane. If successful, this could be a game changer. Now let's shift gears to another battlefield. AI, even Nvidia, the king of the AI chip market, is paying attention. In a recent interview, Nvidia's CEO Jensen Huang straight up said that Huawei is becoming their strongest rival in China's AI sector. And remember, this isn't some random analyst saying this. This is Nvidia's boss, the guy behind the chips that power OpenAI, ChatGPT, Tesla, and more. He literally said, Huawei is undoubtedly one of the most powerful technology companies in the world. This is a rival we must highly value and fully respect. That's not just respect, that's a warning shot. Huawei's Ascend AI chips are already making waves, and with the US banning the H20 chips from reaching China, it's opened a huge door for Huawei to dominate their home turf. So here's the real question. If Huawei actually succeeds in building and shipping a 3 nanometer chip, if they keep rising in the AI space even with no access to American tech, then what's the point of banning them anymore? Because at that point, the ban is just helping them become more self-reliant, more independent, and more dangerous from a competitor's point of view. In my opinion, if Huawei manages to deliver a 3 nanometer chip by 2026, the US might actually reconsider the ban. Because once Huawei proves it can thrive without the global supply chain, the sanctions lose their leverage. And let's be honest, if they weren't banned, they could have been leading the mobile chip race already. So yeah, the underdog is no longer crawling back. Huawei is building up, leveling up, and showing up with results. And this, my friends, is a comeback story worth watching. Let me know in the comments, do you think the US will eventually unban Huawei? Or is the world preparing for two separate tech ecosystems? Drop your thoughts below. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Kidandroid RH, signing off.